How can an inequality represent a situation? Here we have the situation. Grace spent more than $50 at the mall. How can an inequality help us represent the situation? In this lesson, you will learn how to represent a situation by writing and graphing an inequality. Let's review. Here's some vocabulary. A variable represents an unknown number or set of numbers. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares two quantities. Here we have the inequality 5 is greater than x. This inequality is comparing our unknown set of numbers, or x, to 5. 5 is greater than x is the same as saying x is less than 5. These are equal. Inequalities can be shown visually through a graph. This graph represents x. If x is less than 5, this means that 5 is not included in our number set. So we have an open circle on our graph and we will shade the set of numbers that are smaller than 5. Here we're given the situation a number that is smaller than 3. If we would like to represent this situation mathematically, there are a few questions that we need to ask. The first is, what don't we know about this situation? We don't know what our number is. Since we don't know what the number is, we can re represent this as a variable. I will use n to stand for a number. The next question that we need to ask is, what do we know? And we know a few things. We know that there is an unknown number and it's smaller than 3. We also know that more than one number can be smaller than three, so our variable represents a group of numbers. How can we mathematically represent a group of numbers? We can use an inequality. So if we know that our variable n is smaller than three, how would we write that? n is less than three. This represents a group of number that is smaller than three. So now we're back to our situation Grace spent more than $50 at the mall. How could we represent this situation as a number sentence? Let's start by asking, what don't we know? We don't know how much money Grace actually spent at the mall. This is what we want to represent with our variable. I will pick M to stand for the amount of money that Grace spent. What do we know about the money that Grace spent? We know that she spent more than $50. How could we write this out mathematically? By using the inequality to show that our variable m is more than 50, we insert a greater than symbol to show that the money that Grace spent is more than $50. We can represent our situation by writing an inequality, but we also can create a graph. Did Grace spend $50? No, we only know that she spent more than that, so we cannot include 50 in our set of numbers, so we use an open circle. If we know that our variable m is more than 50, which direction would we shade the graph? We would shade it to the right to show all the values that are greater than 50. The advantage to creating a graph is being able to see the values that Grace could have spent. Here we can see that she could have spent $65 or $53.25. All of these values we can see in our graph are greater than 50. One common misunderstanding is to think that the variable must be on the left side of the inequality sign. This leads students to think that m is greater than 50 is not equal to 50 is less than m, and that 50 is less than m can't be used to represent our situation. But let's look at the graphs of these two inequalities. By looking at the graph of m is greater than 50, we have an open circle and that we've shaded all the values that are greater than 50. What would the graph for 50 is less than m look like? We know that there would be an open circle, but what direction would the graph be shaded? Looking at the inequality, the, is the m bigger or smaller than 50? The open side of the inequality is pointed towards the m, so we know that m is bigger than 50. The graph for 50 is less than m would look like this. What do you notice? Since both the graphs are the same, this means that the two inequalities are equal. So 50 is less than m is equal to m is greater than 50. This means that 50 is less than m could represent the situation Grace spent more than $50 at the mall. In this lesson, you have learned how to represent a situation by writing and graphing an inequality.